The nice weather is a present. Yeah. You know what else is a present to all the moms out there? We've got the Aurora tonight. Oh, oh nice. Yes, the sky is bringing gifts to all the moms. <laughs> and it's a free gift, too, the best kind. Uh, so let's take a look at where we could see this. Again, you get that KP index upwards of 7, 8, 9, and that visibility for us uh, starts to become a little bit clearer. And you can see we're we're going to be maxing out at around an eight, perhaps even a nine. So visibility may stretch all the way down into central portions of Missouri. Again, that's naked eye visibility. So as we look throughout the night here, that is going to increase. And a good thing to note with this, skies are going to be clear. So things are looking up for us, and I hope you'll be looking up too, because it looks like we'll have a decent chance to see this. So get away from the city lights. You can see in the metro, again, kind of horrendous to view it there, but if you head a little bit further to the west or even up northeast of Fort Dodge there, uh, we'll have some gaps in those city lights and should be better viewing. But we've even got some showers out there now and some clouds. You can see off to the northeast here, Iowa Falls had those roll their way on through. And as we look a little bit further to the east, you can see those continuing to trek to the southeast. Really weak and light stuff. And we're seeing drier air behind that, which means clearing skies as we head in towards the overnight. So tracking these out for you. Notice the rain continuing southeast. Cloud cover, still some patchy clouds up from Webster County all the way up towards Kasuth County and off to the southeast. But those will be fading with time. And we get past midnight. Skies should be cooperating and uh, should be a good night to view the Aurora. So make sure you head out and sneak a peek of that really cool thing. Not expecting much as far as rain goes with these passing shots hours. I'd say under a tenth of an inch for the vast majority of us. And right now it's looking pretty nice out there. We have got sunshine breaking through the clouds. Temperature at 74. Wind out of the west at 13 miles per hour. Temperatures across the state absolutely comfortable. Dew points have been in the 40s, so it doesn't even feel thick out there. We're in the mid 70s and riding in style, though it is a little bit breezy. We've had gusts, some of us, upwards of 40 miles per hour today. But as we sit now, most of us in the 20s got some gustier conditions up off to the north. There's that 40 mile per hour gust we saw earlier upwards towards Mason City. The max gust we've seen in the metro is 24 miles per hour. So your 12 hour forecast for tomorrow looking good. Starting off in the upper 40s to low 50s. We've got sunshine all day long with temperatures pushing back in the mid to upper 70s. So it's going to be a little warm out there. But as we head into the end of the weekend, you can see some showers. If you got plans to grill for Mother's Day, keep an eye on the radar here as we've got a chance for some showers to roll in into the evening hours. And those are going to continue on into the day on Monday. So decent chance to pick up more rain and we'll have that off and on as we head through next week. Not looking at anything severe as right now, but definitely more chances for rain. Monday could see some on Tuesday, though. I think that'll be on the drier side. Better chances Wednesday into Thursday with sunnier skies returning to end your week with highs in the middle 70s.